Hey guys, JB here. Welcome to the community as always. Super pumped that you're here. Uh, ready to get into a new kind of unboxing and review today of the Kobo Clara 2E. I'm a big fan of this device. Um, I'm a big fan of Kobo. Um, you know, I do have obviously the Kindles and the Kobos, but um, I typically like the Kobo a little bit better just because I've got a lot of books in a big library there. So I want to open this up and take a look at this uh, because this is an eco-friendly um, de device, meaning it's made by recyclable plastic, uh, which is really interesting uh, as we get it out of the box here. You know, I'm a big fan of doing getting rid of plastic. In fact, you know, I drink Liquid Death. It's a little more expensive, but the reason I do is they they are against plastic too, saying you know let's let's you know recycle cans instead of using plastic. And so this product has a little bit more to it, being that it is this. Eco, they call it eco consciousness or eco consciousness here, uh, which is what it's about. And it's using this plastic um, that they are using, you know, recyclable, recycled plastic. So let's take it out of the case here and see what we have. So first thing we have is kind of a dark blue background. You can kind of see it here um, in the box and we can kind of see it uh, versus the Kindle. Uh, here, uh, about the same screen size, but a little smaller device. I personally uh, like smaller devices. Uh, that's something that I'm into. Let's see what else is in the box. I think you just have a USB-C charging cable. Uh, that's it, that's what came with it. So we have the um, device. Uh, I'm, I'm putting it up here against a Kindle, about the same thickness, but obviously uh, smaller uh, than the Kindle. So, you know, if you're looking for something uh, just little to carry around, you know, this is pretty cool. And what is it about it? Okay, well, it's one thing is it's waterproof. So that's kind of cool. You can use it in a bathtub um, and it redefines uh, the way it is. So, you know, if you have unexpected spills, it'll work. Um, you can read in the morning hours. It has a glare-free uh, Carta 1200 touchscreen with Comfort Light Pro. We'll check that in a minute. And obviously bringing your library together uh, is pretty cool. So the idea then is that the whole package is uh, based with uh, FSC certified recyclable paper, uh, and so it's a it's a really uh, kind of an you know eco conscious uh, you know kind of device, and it's a, a e reader that really brings a lot to it. As far as tech specs, it's got 16 gigabytes, which is great. It's supposed to be pretty quick and peppy. So let's just turn it on here for the first time and take a look. Uh, feel wise, weight wise, it does feel a little lighter uh, than the Kindle. Again, I'm looking for a daily reader I can just take with me and throw everywhere with me. And uh, this thing is tiny. I'm, I'm, I'm digging this. So turning it on the first time, let's see if it's if it's peppy. I haven't charged it. I haven't done anything. This is the first time that it, that I've actually turned it on. And again, you can kind of see it here just to give a, a you know a difference in the Kindle versus the Kobo. Uh, we can take a look at it and see the difference. Okay, so there we are. We are on. Uh, let's take a look at it, and you can kind of see. Uh, again, size-wise, and if we, we take the plastic off, let's go ahead and take the plastic off. It's in demo mode. I haven't signed in on it. Let's just, uh, I, I like the size. I got to tell you, let me pick it up. It just feels good in the hand, um, and even without the case. I'm not a case guy with these readers, as you can see with my Kindle. I typically don't put it in a case, um, but let's go ahead and just click this and look at the, uh, the brightness. Okay, we got a brightness and we have auto off on. Uh, we have a bedtime when it automatically goes. Uh, there's that yellowish light to a kind of a blue light. I'm gonna put my glasses on here, guys, so I can see a little bit better. Um, and let me look at it as far as, uh, let's just put a book in here. Let's just open a book. Oh, that's an audio book. The other thing is uh, you can hook this up to Bluetooth. We'll do that in a minute. And you can actually listen to audio books, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's go back to books and just look at uh, EPUB here and see, take a look at it. Okay, start reading to turn the pages. Swipe to the side of the screen. Okay, let's just look at the menu. Look up a word. You can press and hold to see its definition. Um, add annotations. Uh, read at night, adjust the brightness by swiping up or down along the left edge of the screen. Uh, auto syncing, obviously we know that, uh, and that's the reading menu. So if we want to swipe up or down, okay, that's the, on the left side of the screen. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. We can do adjust the brightness there. Um, ooh, it is, it is nice. I mean, I got to tell you, as far as the text 
goes. Let's get into a text uh, kind of area here. It is clear. I would have to say uh, that it's actually a little clearer than the... Um, let's go up in font size here. Just take a look. And let's see if we click up here in settings and get the font size a little bit bigger. Um, I'm going to say that Clara is definitely clearer than the Kindle. Man, it's got a nice look to it. Let me go back to normal there. And let's take this off. Let's work with the brightness, the natural light. Let's just go. It's on auto, but I like the bluer kind of light. That's just me. But I got to tell you, when that was on, like where they're suggesting, which is just a little bit back, it's kind of nice look to it. Really nice look. Okay, so what I want to do next, I'm going to go get a Bluetooth speaker. We'll hook up the uh, Bluetooth to it and try it out real quick from an audio book standpoint. But so far, so good. I am really uh, liking this device. I also want to spill some water on it and see uh, what, how the reaction is. And uh, that way you get kind of a first look at the Cobol uh, uh, Clara 2E and if it's something you want to upgrade from. Again, let me just hold it up here so you can kind of see it. Uh, my hands are pretty small on 5.9. Here, here's a liquid death can. Let's put it up to that. You know, you can see that, that it's got, a, you know, it's a really comfortable size for just cranking through books. Um, really comfortable. Okay, so let's go get a speaker. Let me go bring a speaker down. Let's test the audiobook functionality of it. And uh, then we'll put some water on it and see how that reacts to that. That'll be kind of a good test. All right, give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I got a towel here. We're going to put this down. Uh, I also grabbed a Bluetooth speaker here, so let's go ahead and do the water test. I hate to do this, but here we go. There is the water, uh, and it actually changed the page as it went with the water. Um, but as you can tell, we can dry it off. Uh, pretty cool. The, like if you're in a bathtub uh, or something, like any touch screen, you got to kind of wear wipe it down. Um, but definitely, definitely is is water resistant. Water. It actually says it is. Let me just read it. Uh, kind of waterproof. Is it exactly what do they claim it to be here? One second. I'm looking at the website and it says it is water uh, waterproof, which uh, that that's a big deal. So uh, I definitely can get it wet. Uh, if you drop it in the bathtub or something, you're good to go. So that definitely uh, is nice and convenient. Uh, as far as the Bluetooth, let's go ahead and try to hook this up. So let's go into settings need my glasses here and see how we do this. Again, um, I'm doing this just, uh, you know, with you, you know, never doing this before, not reading the books or anything, but here's an audio book. So let's hit new blue, no Bluetooth connection. So see what it says. Oh, it's scanning. Okay. So let's turn this thing on. Oh, let's turn it on. There we go. Oh, if I got to hold that, or, oh, there we go. It's trying to, it's in pairing mode. Let's see if we uh, get this to work. Let me go back because it wasn't on before. Let's try it again. No Bluetooth connected. Let's try it. There it is. Okay, nice. It's connecting. So you can see there's sometimes with Bluetooth, what you got to do is kind of come out of it and come back in. Uh, failed. All right, let's try it again. Okay, saved. Okay, let's try it. I think we're good. Oh, connected. Okay, let's try it. All right, there we go. Let's see. Nice. Written by Emily Heptich. Narrated by Kristen Pellerin. So you can listen to your devices. And as you know, one of the reading tips that I do is I like to have the book, uh, sometimes the physical books, and listen at two times speed. Um, I know it's the chipmunks. Soil after rain is wetter, heavier, sloppier. But you can get through books a lot quicker by by increasing the speed. But whatever speed you want, you've got it there, which is nice. Let's go ahead and pause so you can do your audio books in here. Um, and again, you can take this anywhere. It hooks up to your headphones. You do need a Bluetooth um, uh, connection with it. It does not have a speaker in it. Um, and then again, like I said, I think the, the coolest thing for me 
is that it, it really is clear. And I do like the font to be a little bit bigger, so let's just make it a little bit bigger. Let's go up just a little bit there and there. And I think um, that is awesome. Like that, to me, even with my glasses off, is very clear. And it, comparing it to the Kindle again, um, the Kindle just updated its software here. The Kindle is nice too. The Kindle has a nice form factor. I would tell you the Kindle feels a little thinner and a little glossier than this. This is a $129 device, by the way. Um, this has more of a tactile feel on it. This actually feels a little more slippery, um, which is weird. Um, let's see, I've been pressing stuff here. But overall, I like the size a little bit better. Like I said, it's tiny. Like you just take this anywhere and, and carry it anywhere and it's, um, it's gonna work out really good. So this feels pretty good. Let's see. And again, as far as the uh, oh, they're updating the Kindle store. As far as the size goes, again, uh, in the in the in the in the the way that it works, it's just very intuitive. You know, I like it. Feels really intuitive. The home pages on each. Again, uh, just when you go on Kobo versus Kindle, there you can kind of see the differences between the two of them. And uh, when you go home, let's go into the library. And if I just uh, put on a put in a book, I mean I'm not going to hammer the Kindle. It's pretty good, but then we look at the differences between the two, and let me get the blue on here also. I kind of like that little bit of that color there. Um, I'm going to tell you the. Let's take this one down just a little bit. Let's make this one just a little bit smaller. And we'll go down a little bit. Let's see, so we're about the same size here. There we go. And they both look good. Um, but this 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 Clara really pops, as you can see, it pops. I don't know if you could tell that difference in the in the uh, in the in the comparison here, but man, it really looks good. Like it, it's just like just just kind of pops out at you, which I think is really important. So um, should you upgrade? Should you get the, the new Kobo Clara 2 uh, E device? I got to tell you, for $129 and having that ability to uh, have it waterproof, uh, it's made out of, uh, you know, recyclable materials. The size is great. If you're a Kobo user, you have a lot of Kobo books, I like this product. Really good product. Kobo Clara 2 E. Kobo Clara 2 E. Uh, it gets a major thumbs up, and I think it's going to be my daily reader. I will report back to you uh, as I use it, and we'll let you more know more about it. And if you got any questions on what you would like to ask about this, please put them in the comments. Especially after I write up the after I put up the video, I usually read them as fast as I can. And we have a community here, so a lot of people also uh, ask about this. I'm putting this video up on the uh, 9th of September, so this comes out the 22nd, so it's in pre-order right now. Uh, so, but you can get your hand on, hands on one. And again, I don't even think you need a case. You can get accessories and cases. But for me, it just feels good, proper weight, uh, and it's just going to be my daily driver uh, for now. So as always, hey, a little thumbs up. If you've watched this far, thanks so much. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for being a part of this community. You watched to the end. Thank you so much for that. You're awesome. Uh, you can click subscribe for more awesome videos that we do all kinds of different things. Um, and then down here, you can watch the next video that comes up from our community and channel. By the way, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. What do you think about today's video? All right, thanks so much. Hit that subscribe or watch that next video.